Hi, I'm Brittany. And I'm Leah. Today we are going to do our May favorites and fails. Um, I'm going to start with my favorites. I purchased a Z palette this past month. It is now filled with all of my drugstore cheeky eyeshadows. I'm in love with this. Um, I had a deep potting party and I was just like, this is so great. And now I can throw away all of that you know, chunky packaging and it's all in here. Also, I love it because um, I can see my different colors. So colors I don't usually use, I now use uh, quite often. So I'll be purchasing another one because I have more eyeshadows that need to come out of their packaging. Okay. Um, oh, I also want to say quickly, I got this on Amazon but from Makeup Geek and um, they actually sent a um, sample eye color. So I was really pleased and surprised. I got it in three days and I ordered it on a weekend. So like I got it Friday, I ordered it Friday and I got it on Monday. Wow. So if you are on Amazon and there's anything from Makeup Geek that you see me want, I totally recommend it. Um, I also have two nail color favorites, of course. One is Bamboozled from Ulta, kind of like a medium purpley blue. And this color is Breezy blue. I'm actually wearing it right now. Really light blue color. I'm absolutely in love with it. It'll be on my nails probably all summer. And I also subscribed to Etsy. Um, I had been tracking and watching different, um, like Birchbox and Glossy Box and Etsy, and I decided to go ahead and subscribe to Etsy because for the money, it seems like you got most. Um, so this month, I'll share really quick. A Zoya. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Soya polish. It's a uh, like pearly light pink color. I, there was a blue color I really wanted, but you know you don't choose what you want. It is a really pretty color. Um, <clears throat> concealer by Yabby and Buff. This actually is a really great concealer. And um, Anastasia, Anastasia, however anybody wants to say it. Clear brow gel. Mirabella. It's a lipstick. It's like a rosy color. It's really moisturizing. It's sheer color. And Pacifica Rollerball. This is Tahitian Gardenia. Mm -hmm. And if you like gardenias, you would love this rollerball. It actually smells like gardenia. We had gardenia blooming when I got this and I was like, I smell like I'm outside. So <laughs> I loved it. So I'm in love with Ipsy right now and pretty much all the products I got this month. Good. So. So I have been obsessed in May with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I use this pretty much every day um, to put on my foundation. It has surpassed my Sonia Kashuk flat top brush for that. I really love it with the um, whipped color yes. stay. I love it with that. And I'm also obsessed with Maybelline's Rocket Mascara. I know there are mixed reviews on this on Makeup Alley. I just wrote my review and I was like, why is it have like a three and a half? It's like so much better than that. But things differ, you know, for people, and this is really great. I actually think it's surpassed my Jordana mascara. <gasps> yes, because this <laughs> gives you that, like, super, super false, and I'm actually wearing Jordana right now, only because I had, like, on, you can't, I have very heavy gray makeup. You can't see because the sun's so bright. But um, I wanted, like, the most dramatic mm -hmm. mascara, so this isn't the most dramatic, but this, like, gives me that false lash look with minimal effort. Like, I don't have to put it on, put it on, and then like comb out the little clumpy. I don't get clumps with it. And I don't think that it's hard to get off. I don't understand that complaint from people, but I love this. I will definitely repurchase it. It's not the waterproof version. I also have been using the Revlon Luxurious Color Smoky Crayon. I got this last year at the beauty sale, clearance sale, and it was like 70, it was like $2. And I just discovered that there's a sharpener. <laughs> Revlon always does that and I always forget. <laughs> But I love this. It is a very chunky crayon, but you can like sharpen it. What I do most of the time though is I just roll it up and use an eyeliner brush to take some off and then put it on. I, um, it's just so smooth and soft and I have like no complaints about it. I love it. I'll miss it when it's gone. There's a lot left. I've been using this for a year and it's probably 50, 60% left. I also just got this month as part of my Mother's Day gift, um, Bath & Body Works Pure Paradise Body Spray, and I love this. I'm not exactly sure what the um, notes are supposed to be, but I've only had it like two weeks and it's already down to here, 
been spraying it all the time. I think it's supposed to be like freesia and something else. I'm not ex entirely sure, but it's very fresh, a little bit floral, and I really, really am obsessed with this. I've also been loving uh, my Victoria's Secret Pink. This is just the original pink fragrance mist. I've had this bottle forever. It still smells good, and I've been using it a lot. So now for fails. Mm -hmm. Always makes me feel bad because I get to talk trash about something. Ah! Okay, so if you've been watching our channel and um, you know I've been struggling with hair care and hair products and especially hairspray and shampoo. So I was in Ulta and they have this uh, big sexy hair all nighter hairspray. It was on clearance for $6.99 and I figured that it's hairspray. It's on clearance because it's from October and the packaging is different. Big deal. So I got it and I used it and I do not like it. It holds nothing in my hair. I can like, it, hold, it holds nothing. No volume, no curl stays. I don't know if it weighs my hair down or what the deal is. So, but this didn't work for me. So I'm really sad and I'll probably use it up just because I spent money on it. But, um, so yeah, if you have hair that gets weighed down crazy and uh, you have a hairspray that'll work that has like flexible also, because I don't want to have helmet head, you know, holler at your girl, let me know. <laughs> My fails this month are the Febreze Home Collection Orange Honeycomb Wax Bar for my Scentsy. I only have one left because I bought it, I'm going to use it, but the scent is so light and it smells really, really good. But you can't smell it unless I put it, um, so you can't even smell it in the packaging, <laughs> and the packaging's got a hole in it. Oh, it Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. So this is my third one of these, um, the third scent that I've tried, and I cannot smell it unless I put it in my bathroom and shut the door. Right. And then like I can smell it when I open the door, but within 30 seconds of being in the room, you can't smell it anymore. So it's really sad because this is probably the nicest scent that I've had so far. It's just very weak. And then I have a mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Link Waterproof Mascara. Um, and I bought this, I don't wear waterproof, I bought this for a funeral. Um, and the only reason I purchased it was because it was the cheapest one in the store. I think it was like $3.19 or something. Um, I hate it. It doesn't, it takes so much product to look like you're wearing mascara. Mm -hmm. Doesn't give any length. And the bristles, are like so tiny but they're sharp it's like little knives <laughs> seriously if you put it close to the ba base of your lashes to get in there like it feels like you're being stabbed by a thousand little pins I hate it hate it hate it hate it but you want to hear something crazy I'm still using it because it's summertime and we're going to the splash park and I get water splashed mm -hmm. in my face so on days that I feel like I still want to wear makeup I just put a little bit of this on I just can't get it anywhere close to the root because it's really, really sharp, but I do like build it up on the ends so that I still look like I'm. But you can. Done out. I do this all the time because I have buxom um, mascara that I keep holding on to because there's some product in there. It hasn't dried up yet. I've had it forever. It is by no means waterproof. If I put that on first, you can put Jordana on and then just put a light coat of waterproof on and it acts waterproof. See, this is what you layers. Friends. There you go. Especially friends who like beauty stuff. <laughs> so, maybe I'll try that instead of doing six coats of this sucker. <laughs> but that's it for us. That's it. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Bye. Bye.